Lady here, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys my makeup routine. This has been the look that I've been doing for like the past couple months. I got three looks I usually do. There's the glam, medium glam, and then my five minute makeup routine. <laughs> so today, I'm going to be showing you guys my like medium glam. This is what I do when I have like under 20 minutes. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's just get started. Good morning, guys. So I'm currently in Florida. I have no idea what city I'm in. But first, I'm going to put on moisturizer because I just washed my face. I use Cetaphil, but this thing, literally not cooperating. Alright. Normally, I would do primer, but I don't have any primer on me. Guys, this product here by e.l.f., the Active Hydration Stick. I don't know what it is about me, but every time I use any skin kind of product from e.l.f., I break out like crazy. On my face, you can tell I've got like four dots here. Dot, 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 dot. Dot, 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 dot. Okay, I'm telling you guys, this product for some reason made me break out so much. Anyways, this product has been canceled. For, I guess, a little bit of primer, I'm gonna use rose water. I feel like my makeup, it, it just applies on so much better when my face is more hydrated. I'm going to be using the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And I use this on my actual face, kind of like a foundation. It literally looks so natural and it blends in so well with the skin. Guys, it literally looks like skin, which is why I love to use this. After I apply that if you guys have been watching me for a while you guys know that I always use my Maybelline fit me concealer in cafe and I use this to blend in with my foundation to make sure that it matches my skin color because ain't nobody got time to buy different shades of the same exact foundation no so since I've been down here it's been really warm love the weather I've gotten tanner love that because i hate being pale like i love being golden and in the sun in the winter time that's when i break out the most even though i don't really break out too much these days i do break out more in the winter being in sun makes my skin happy have you guys seen this i look funny I gotta put on some concealer This lighting literally ass This lighting makes my skin look two different colors But I swear guys, it, it looks right in person I don't know, whatever So I'm just gonna put some concealer under my eyes And um, yeah, that's it So I think my parents are gonna make breakfast I think they're gonna make eggs and bacon guys i love bacon so much i swear bacon's the best thing ever <laughs> why is it doing that and then the excess concealer goes on my chin or on my nose so now i gotta bake because i do want my under eye to be really bright Some days I will bake, some days I won't. But when I want my concealer to look very bright under my eye, like I really want to be able to see that it's brighter than everywhere else, then I bake. Not baking with this routine looks good too. So just like so. I forgot to tell you guys this, but for baking, I use a Maybelline Fit Me loose powder <laughs> i use the one in light fair after that i'm gonna do my brows so i currently am using the benefit foolproof brow powder it's just like this it's such a cute case where you open it and then bam i love using powder on a daily basis because i just feel like it looks very natural i'm very picky with the lighting i do my brows in i'll be back when i'm done with my Oh my god. Ah, 
after I've done my brows with powder, I'm gonna conceal it just a little bit right at the bottom because I want it to be a little bit more clean. But just the littlest really makes a difference, honestly. And then of course, oh my gosh, make sure to put concealer right in the middle because ain't nobody wanna look like they got a unibrow going on. Gotta put some bronzer on. Cheeks, then on the chin or jawline, I mean. Then you gotta do the forehead. Then, gotta contour my nose, cause just can't forget that. There we go. And then after that, I'm gonna wipe off the bake. So when I wipe it, I go underneath, and I kinda close my eye, and then the axis goes all around my face. I like to put the axis on my forehead also because I get really oily. All right, so after this, I'm gonna put on some blush. My favorite blush to use, oh, so for bronzer, I use the Bahama Mama, which is my ride or die. And then I'm using the Wet n Wild Pearlescent Pink, my absolute favorite blush also because I just love this color. It's really corally. Y'all can't even tell on camera. Cheeks, and then I put it on my nose right at the tip. I feel like blush is what makes it look really tied in together. And then after that, I'm gonna put on some highlighter and then my lashes. I look crazy, so I'm gonna put it at the tip and then make a little bridge. What the hell? Nope, never mind. I'm just gonna put. And on the whole nose because this lighting makes it look really weird. Put them in the inner corners because I love that glow there. And then, can't forget, up here, on the other side, we're almost done. Almost. For this last part, we're going to put some lashes on. So for lashes, I've been using the 614 Salon Perfect Lashes. They look like this. I got the whole box and they just look very long and natural. That's what I've been really loving recently. And not only that, but they're really affordable. I doubled it up. I'm gonna do my lashes, but I'll be right back. Okay guys, you're almost done with this look. I've already got my lashes on now and they look kind of weird because i kind of left them smashed up in my bag yesterday for lips i've just been using the elf lip gloss this is the clear one and this is only two bucks so y'all need to check it out after i apply some clear gloss i like to put over a lip gloss or a lipstick that's like pink i've been doing this lip combination for like the longest time oh my god my brother and you guys have been asking me how i do it so first you want to put on some clear gloss and then you guys want to take this NYX soft matte lip cream in Kane's it looks like this and then you just want to <laughs> put it on your lip <laughs> like this just a little bit and then you mix it the reason I do this lip combination is because I feel like when I put on clear gloss my lip just looks still very dead in color because my natural lip color is not like cute and rosy like a lot of people I feel like it's like a little bit pale and a little purple I always put a little bit of pink to make my lips look alive and that's it <laughs> and yeah this is the makeup look thank you guys for watching my video so so much make sure to like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for my next video Mwah.